Hey, 513 is our time now to a developing strat of Lansing tax credits for Hollywood. Could be on the chopping block if some lawmakers get their way. Yeah, those for and against the bill are hoping to have their voices heard. For more on what this could mean going down the road for the film industry, we turn to 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe, who is live in Detroit for us this morning. Hi, Nima. Alicia, big good morning. I'll tell you what, Michigan Central Station here behind me in Corktown has seen its fair share of Hollywood heavyweights using it both as a backdrop and a prop. But this morning, we've learned that if lawmakers in Lansing have the weight, well, some of them anyway, House Bill 4122 will become law, which would essentially wipe away the Michigan film credits. Lawmakers backing House Bill 4122 want to end Michigan's film subsidy. They say the credits are costly and just don't do much for the state or the people living here. This is a big deal and likely to be a big talker when you think about the fact that Transformers was filmed here, Lost River, a film Ryan Gosling is behind, was filmed here, and now word to the remake of King Kong is set to be filmed here. And remember, Batman vs Superman just wrapped up and is still kind of doing some stuff here. In fact, in 2013, the credits accounted for more than 668 temporary jobs, not permanent, and not for the last seven years, the credits have been around. There's been no forming a permanent movie industry here. The question for lawmakers this morning, is the film subsidy costing more at the expense of more important programs? And the fight continues to bring an end to those credits in Lansing. They're expected to vote on the bill before next week. Now, the other idea here is to take that $50 million that they're putting towards the film subsidy and put it towards the Michigan State Police, possibly even put it towards education. Of course, you can count on seven to keep you posted as this makes its way through the House. I'm Nima Shafe, live in Corktown. Back to you.